Because I can attack, attack, and then play North Shire Cleric, heal the North Shire Cleric. And she's back up to five, and I draw two cards, and then I'm still somewhat ahead. Unearthed Raptor is probably a pretty good play here, as it gives you another Jade Golem, but it doesn't feel great. Maybe there's another play that I'm not envisioning. Uh, with Sap, perhaps, where you reset the health of my Northshire to 3 by sapping it and forcing me to replay it. But that requires preparation plays, where you go, like, backstab uh, Jade Shuriken on the Cabal Talent Priest and prep Sap on a 1-3, which is just really, really feel bad. It, it's just not a good play. Um, so we'll see whether or not that happens. Could be backstab Jade Shuriken. Even without the Sap, it's still acceptable. It does give me a good play with Northshire Cleric, though. Ooh. He's taking the trade. That is definitely reasonable. We get to double draw, at least. That is a very difficult board to handle if you're him. Because you can play Tomb Pillager all you want. Um, it's still not amazing, right? Jade Spirit spawns a 2-3 and a 2-2, so this is starting to look... It's shaping up to be better for him. It's shaping up to be a bit better. A bold Five, four. So now we've got a really huge board. If I pick up... Whenever I pick up Circle of Healing here we're looking really good i have black claw still hasn't made um her her appearance she's she could come out like next turn on turn six on curve definitely he should maybe he's got counterfeit coin with Aya. i mean i doubt it but it's been seen before i feel like we go draconid operative next turn into warmest agent twy guardian on six and keep the azure drake in hand for later oh and if this raid here would feel so terrible However, a Jade Shuriken number 2 feels very good. Oh yes, this this feels good if you're him. Much, much better than the play he had lined up to. I guess we're gonna go with Aya Black Bot. It's just a pretty powerful card. No point attacking into the, uh, with the 1-7 because it dies to these two minions anyway. Although it does free up two damage away with the Under City Huckster. He picked up a black ball off the top. What a god. Well done. Oh, he's getting close. I guess he wants to put me on the back foot, which isn't good enough, I think. But might turn out to be a mistake. I don't know. We'll see. Late Flurry is irrelevant. Beyond irrelevant. No, there are no words to describe how relevant that is. Circle of Healing would be pretty good. Not the circle I was looking for. Do we take that trade? I, I think we do. We are forcing Ab Blackpot to smash herself into one station. However, we know for a fact that he's got this raid. We know for a fact he's got this raid. So it's a matter of seeing whether or not. He goes, you know, let's say, 3-drop into Eviscerate, or Phantom Knives into Evis. Um, like, does he have a way to kill those that isn't a bit jank? Oh, just an Eviscerate for 2 chips. Very well sequenced here, by the way. Uh, keeps the Aya Blackpot alive. Keeps the Aya Blackpot alive. Into sequence. So this will spawn a 5-5 Jade Golem. I'm not excited to, to give him a 5-5. And drawing too much is not appealing either, so... We can just start punching face a little bit. We're gonna draw four cards, so we'll be maxed in hand size. The only thing I don't want to lose is Mind Blast. The only thing I don't want to lose is Mind Blast. Anything else is okay. Oh yeah, we actually healed his Black Claw. Fuck me in the ass. I'm an idiot. I should know that. Though. I f completely forgot I was healing Black Claw. I thought I was healing my own minions, and I was like, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. Ugh. All right, backstab number two. Possibly with Eviscerate number two. What's up? 
Now that, that right there is not something I wanted to see at it. all, ever. This has to be a disaster. This is undoubtedly a disaster. Oh, what have I done? I ruined everything. We can still get a Druid Drake with Mind Blast. So, like, we've got a lot of damage output next turn. Sylvanas can't sacrifice herself. Unless he kills it himself with, like, an Eviscerate, so you attack and then you steal something forcefully. Um, there's a good chance that we can just go face from here on out and win on the back of one Mind Blast. That's a, that's a definite possibility. One thing I don't want to do is feed him Aya Black Ball here. Oh my goodness! Wait, he went for the Golem? <gasps> he didn't want a Sylvanas Death Rattle. He wants to get I bigger see. Jade Golems. I see. Must I ignore this board? Oh, the perfect hand! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. This is really, really bad. That was so bad for me. Oh my god. I mean, it's good, but it's not good. You know the feeling? You know the feeling? We've got to defend this fort. Bran? Yeah, Bran is good here, I think. The only thing I wanted maybe was a Swatch Burger to get a weapon in the victory, but I couldn't guarantee that it would happen. Right? And so I think it's a bit risky to go all in on it. And now he's got to clear, clean up a little bit of this board, right? Like, this is too much incoming damage, he can't just ignore this and go save. He can't possibly find a card here that saves him as a one of, right? It's not enough. You favor me, friend. He, he needs to, well he found card draw, so again, he's still very, very good. Uh, it's unfortunate he found that. I wanted him to face tank 5-6, but he picked up that nice. This guy is top decking really well for him. I think you want to kill Managio. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So if this isn't Nazoth, we might be okay. If this isn't Nazoth, we might just be okay. He's making trades, so that's good news. Infested Torrent will slow us down quite a Really? How do you draw so well? Holy shit! What the fuck? That is insane! Do you even realize? So 15, 17, 25. This guy's got 25 damage. Off. What the fuck, dude? How am I supposed to beat this? The guy didn't even draw this game. And he's got like everything. Yeah, he got a really lucky hand. GG, we fall down the Jade Rogue. He got really lucky. Holy shit. That was insane. Double, oh my god. Double, j wow. Jade Swarmer with Raptor. Sylvanas got picked up. Nazoth got picked up at the end. No card draw aside from one fan of knives. Picked up double Jade Shuriken super early. Had the backstab to make it combo on the Cabal. Whoa, that was nasty. Oh, that was nasty. That hurt me. That hurt me. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're done with this Dr. Agron. I will have to call this one a failed experiment as well, but it was cool. I like it. Hopefully next time we can go and spend this with... Maybe we go full dragon with fairy dragon and then just resident sleeper our opponents down um, until we just don't want to play the game anymore. But until the next video, you guys have a nice one. Made fun and the luck.
hopefully the fun more so than the love. Oh, bro, you know, you know. to low ranks, mostly low ranks really. We're rank 16, uh, been playing a lot of jank coming up with this deck. So it is a deck that runs Grim Patron with Inner Rage, Shenanigans, and Whirlwinds. However, we are including the additional one cost spell that was added in the expansion, I Know a Guy, to give us more mileage in terms of not only the amount of minions we have, the flexibility of what we want to find, as well as the ability to play with Wild Pyromancer to trigger combo trigger, uh, trigger combo chains with Commanding Shout. So if you combine Commanding Shout with Wild Pyro, you're already doing a ton of AoE. And that's already pretty good power, but when you slap in the possibility of adding Sleep of the Fishes uh, on top of everything else, then it gets even better. Sleep of the Fishes is one of those cards that is just marvelous, uh, quite frankly, when you combine it with AoE. You need to find a Whirlwind, you need to find a Ravaging Ghoul, but otherwise, it's beautiful. It's one of the most amazing and fun cards that we have in the set. Unfortunately, it's just, just the right, you know, timing to kill something with it is, uh, is pretty tough, actually. It is pretty tough. No need to play Animal Guy just yet. I think we'll try to wait until we pick up some kind of Pyromancer shenanigan. Um, it is definitely a good turn one play, but it's not a mandatory turn one play. Uh, we'll go with Slam here. As he has overloaded on turn two, I am I would be surprised if he had something to do. So the top end of the deck includes Ragnarok the Fire Lord to be played in conjunction with Inner Rage and Blood Warriors maybe later on. Um, Arcane Giant can be done. We don't play in this specific list. Um, you know, Emperor Thorson. I think he'd be a very good inclusion if I tried to go for the combo play. However, the goal of the deck is not necessarily to go full-on combo. Like, we don't need um, to copy, you know, cheap giants that cost us very little. We can just take our sweet time. Um, I don't think we'll need uh, the... Oh, I'll go for Solgoth, sure. Can't hex that guy. I don't think we'll need uh, the, the cost reduction in the deck. I, I've tried it with Emperor, and it's no longer the OTK that you can do, where you play Arcane Giant, Charge, Faceless, Faceless. Like, that's no longer what the goal of the deck is. And so I have found myself somewhat underwhelmed with that general game plan. So I guess... A slightly annoying spot to be found in. Do I try and kill it next turn? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't feel I can. I think I'll have to wait until I can get a good sleep with the fishes play. It's gonna be a really rough matchup, but you know he has to play something by next turn. Right? He is already looking at ten cards at the beginning of the next turn. He'll have to. He'll have to play something. By next turn. Ali Armor Smith is definitely my opponent. A 2-7 with Thaunt, and whenever it deals damage, gives me armor, so if it doesn't get hex, I, have I gain a 2 armor every single time it hits. Uh, I was thinking of running the card as an auto, like, included in the deck, two of them, with, um, stolen goods to buff up the Thaunt minion. But I haven't found it too necessary so far. Well, that's, um, that's a play. Oh, wow. More Walker show, you say? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we need to deal 5 damage in AoE, we have Rapid Fury, Whirlwind, Lots of trouble for us. It was a pretty expensive clear, I'd say. I mean, I can keep my guy alive, right? That's gotta be worth something. I don't know if it's worth my six armor, but we'll assume that it is. You know, we'll run with that. I don't think it's necessarily the best play I had. 
Um, it might have been a bit too greedy because now I lost a bunch of AoE. I don't have Acolyte of Pain uh, enablers anymore. I only have Inner Rage. I have one Whirlwind. I have one Ghoul. Uh, I mean, two Wildfire was that is no Ghoul. So we're pretty much down to the hand. The hand we have is the hand we're going to have to run with. Um, but playing it any slower might have been a little bit difficult. Hopefully there's no Jade Claws. Ah, uh, Jade Lightning. So we can play Acolyte of Pain on this. That's fine. That's a decent Acolyte of Pain. It's fine. Uh, he probably flame tongues this board. So Goth barely even answers this, especially if he has Ragnaros in his deck, right? Uh, mid range shaman, like the, the I don't know. This looks like a mid range jade, not the aggro jade. Oh, he goes for jade lightning again. All right. So ends up jade lightning for this. Execute, not the card I wanted to see most, but we'll make it work somehow. I mean, we'll have to really. It's not like we have much of a choice. Ancestral Spirit, you want knight? So he plays Bloodlust, is my question. Let's see. I think Bloodlust is almost mandatory for this metagame. It's very difficult to imagine that you wouldn't run in the current uh, in the current meta. Fascinating. Nazoth, Nazoth Jade Control Shaman? Wait, is it my deck? No, he plays Totem Golem. That, that can't be my deck. No, that simply cannot be my deck. I'm gonna run with double Blood Warriors here. We'll stack the Solgoth. <laughs> I don't think it's very good, but I mean, it does have blood loss for location, I'd say. This is absurd. This is completely absurd. So I need some AoE here. I really, really, really need AoE. A anything, really, will help. I mean, I guess I can give him Sogod, but it just doesn't seem like it's gonna feel any good. Maybe I should have attacked this last turn and executed it um, to get rid of it right away instead of waiting. Mm, that might have been reasonable enough in hindsight. Now, do I play two eight eight or? I mean, I think I'm dead most of the time here, so it doesn't really matter. Realistically, I don't think I can win this. Maybe if I'd gotten a better... Is he playing Evolve Jade Nazoth Shaman? He's played everything so far. Evolve Doppelganger Nazoth and Jade? He's played everything. The more I think about what I just saw, the more confused I am.